Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Red Hat Open JDK 21 in Windows 11 operating system. So here you can see that uh, I already downloaded uh, Red Hat Open JDK 21 for Windows as a zip file. So you need to uh, register with the Red Hat uh, website in order to download this uh, zip file. Okay, so let me open the archive and I'm going to extract the content of the archive to F colon. Okay, I have renamed the directory as JDK-21. So this is the directory structure of Red Hat Open JDK-21. So the bin directory contains all the executables. Conf directory, demo directory. Okay, so this is the release file. Okay, you can check the release file for who is a vendor, everything. Okay, now I am going to uh, set the Java underscore home environment variable for Red Hat Open JDK 21. So this PC, right click properties, advanced system settings. Uh, environment variables you can see that uh, two types of variables user variables and system variables so under system variables i am going to create uh, java underscore home uh, why i am creating under system variable because all the users whoever uses this computer can execute the red dot open jdk 21's uh, command okay next i am going to add the Red Dot Open JDK 21 bin directory to Windows path variable so that uh, all the commands will be available in command line. Okay. So, uh, we have successfully set the environment variable. Now, let me open command prompt. Yes, I can able to run the red dot open JDK commands. So red dot open JDK 21 installation on Windows 11 is successful. Now I am going to show you how to compile and run simple Java module programs. So here you can see that uh, uh, directory called modules under that src and classes directory src that is source folder contains message module and print module okay so each module have one module info.java so module info.java is a mandatory file for uh, module okay so here uh, message module okay message module contains com.java forum package okay contains com.java forum package contains one single class called message.java it's a public class and contains one public method uh, which is certain type as string. It will simply return the uh, welcome message. So it's under package com.java forum and in model info.java this uh, com.java forum is exported which means that uh, other module can call the message module. Now coming to print module this is a model info uh, for print module it contains uh, what are the requirements that is it requires message modules which means that it uh, imports the message module classes so here you can see that this is a hello world.java you can see that I import com.java for dot message I am use I imported the message module class here in main class so hello world.java is a main class calling message, message modules uh, message.java okay now uh, i am going to show you how to compile these uh, two modules so first i am going to compile message module so this is a syntax java c hyphen hyphen module message module destination path and module source path. Destination path is a classes directory where all the class files are getting stored. 
okay so it's success, uh, successfully compiled yes you can see that class files are generated now let me compile print module bring up our print module same syntax just i change the module name that's it yes so let me check yes class files are generated so before uh, running the java program check all the necessary class files are compiled okay now i am going to run the module so here uh print module is a um, uh, only module contains hello world which is a main class okay so we need to run the main uh, main uh, class which contains public static void main method so this is a syntax to run the hello world dot java okay so here you can see that i am calling the message class and the print message method yes you can see that it successfully print the message so this is the way we need to compile and run uh, module programs in red hat open jdk 21